A frightening string of gas station robberies in Waukesha County. A woman pulled a knife on a clerk in Brookfield over the weekend. New at 10, Julia Fellow tells us about safety changes being made at several stations. Julia. That's right, Carol, and clerks that I spoke to say that thieves are getting more and more bold now, and that extra danger has store owners going to the extra mile to make sure that their workers are safe. Will Sizemore took over his co-worker's shift after he was robbed at knife point Saturday. Well, he's kind of shaken up about it. He tells me at about 8.30 at night, a small woman came into the store at 124th and Burleigh. They said she had a scarf over her face. Sizemore says she got away with cash. It's the second crime to hit this store in less than a month. So all he saw was her eyes and the bridge of her nose. Instead, he could probably pick her out, out of a line out. Over in Waukesha, this Sitco gas station is installing a protective cage after store clerk Saeed Sharwani was robbed and then shot to death last month. Another Sitco gas station nearby is changing their safety policy, which includes closing an hour earlier. Do you think that every store should follow your lead? Yes. Why? Double up on people. It deters the criminals if you have two people on rather than one. Some customers are fighting back themselves. This Glendale man pointed a gas nozzle at a thief when he was held up at 13th and Morgan. Back in Brookfield, Sizemore says they're working with police to find who's responsible, but is not sure if anything could stop it from happening again. I don't know, they're just getting more bold because they think they can get away with it maybe. Two people were arrested in that deadly gas station robbery here in Waukesha behind me. Another is at large. Waukesha police tell me that they have been working with the U.S. Marshals to track that suspect down. Reporting live in Waukesha, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. Yes, yeah, some bold criminals. Thank you, Julia.